Hi, I'm Janice Harris, and we're going to be talking about Spike and Prime for our MedSearch Clinicals today. Remember that Spike and Prime is simply a method of being able to administer our IV fluids to our patients. Spike is putting the an opening into our bag. Priming is replacing the air that's in our IV tubing with the fluid that we are administering. What we want to show is how to spike and prime. First is our primary IV bag. This particular case is normal saline. Uh, the red is not to indicate blood. This is strictly for our uh, demonstration purposes so you can watch it go through. What you will need is a primary IV plumb set. When you open the bag and take out your set, the first thing you want to do is make sure that this little white dot is pushed in. That closes your set. Open it up. Now remember this is full of air and we don't want to administer air to our patients. We have it closed. We're going to spike our bag. by inserting this into the opening. We'll take off the cap. An important note right here is to remember this cap cannot touch anything. If it's contaminated, if it drops, touch the outside of the bag, we have to get a new set and plumb before we can spike our bag. Pushing into the bag, a little twisting motion, and then we have spiked. That's all there is to it. When we spike, now we've got to replace our air. On this particular set, we have to hold it upside down, the white cap toward you. Fill your chamber. There's a little mark on the chamber right here. Fill the chamber to about that mark and that way you're able to see the drips as they occur. We are going to open and we need to have something that this can drip into. We would normally have a sink or a trash can that is available. Open and watch it go through. Once this gets to the top, we flip it over. This is so our plumb set can fill. See how we have this air? We had a little bit of fluid escape. So our plumb set is full. Our fluid is going to be going completely through our set. The tip end of this has a cover on it. If the cover is on, this goes very slowly. If you remove the cover, it will drip faster. Put the cover back on. We want to make sure that that cover stays on the end until we go into our patient's room. Close, and now our line has been replaced. The air has been replaced by our fluid. So, holding upside down, goes in until you see it reach the top, flip it, and then finish your air replacement in your line. This is a primary set most of you will be using this type of IV um, pump. This places into the little door cassette. Close. Remember, you're going to set a rate for your primary. And this one is set at 125. Volume to be infused. This is a 500 ml bag. We're going to infuse, at, put it at about 490, 50 to 500. That gives you a few minutes to be able to go back in and change your IV bag when it's finished. And then hit run. This one is not going to work completely, but that is the route that you use. Okay.